Today I'm, I'm going to do an easy landscape for uh, beginner painters, okay? It's not, it's not very difficult if, uh, if you think this is hard. I just want to watch how I paint this and uh, you should be able to paint like this, okay? It's not that hard. I just got basic colors for a landscape. Green, blue, Payne's gray, white, black. This is burnt umber, it's like a brown. This is raw sienna with some yellow in it. I added a little yellow into my green, raw sienna, Alzerian crimson, red. So that's it, it's just earth tones. Now I'm gonna do a blue sky, a mountain with some water and some bushes down here with a tree. Some land over here with a tree, very simple, okay? And you don't even really have to lay this one out. Uh, I'm going to put the sky in first. I'm using uh, acrylic brushes. I, there's also, if you ever, if you shop at Michael's, go to the, uh, there's an aisle they have. It's called the clearance aisle. And I got some uh, really cheap brushes today for $2 a piece. And they're normally like, Fourteen dollars. They were in the clearance aisle. You got to go look for that aisle when you go to Michaels. Okay. And I'm using water. I got water in my uh, Edgar Allan Poe head here <laughs> for Halloween. I just get my brush wet. All right. Let's let me show you how easy this is. Okay. I I see people uh, painting acrylic you know, on, t on uh, YouTube, and uh, they're using a very, I mean, even a more simple style than that, what I use. This is more like traditional painting, but it, it, I'm going to show you how easy this is. I'm doing it on a 14 by 14, so this doesn't take too long. And this is, uh, this is called a... Uh, it's a number 12 filbert brush, okay? It's kind of round at the top. So I'm just going to fill my blue sky in here with light blue. I'm just using basic colors today. I'm going to put some water down here. You just get your brush a little wet with water. And let's put in some water down here. So you see how easy that is? We could almost say this is going to be our underpaint, okay? Which it is now, because <laughs> the whole thing's almost blue, right? That's good. That's really good. All right, now I'm going to put an easy mountain in there. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to use... Uh, Payne's Gray. I'm just going to grab some Payne's Gray. And let's design a mountain about two, two thirds up to the top of the peak. Let's put a whole bunch of different uh, peaks on the mountain. Just design like a mountain top up there. Just like that. Very easy. Now grab some more paint and just kind of pull it down to fill the mountain in with color. Don't worry if it doesn't fill it in perfect. Uh, this is just the underpaint. We just want to get the design up there first, okay? You don't have to do this uh, fill it in perfect like you're coloring or something. Just just get the color down there, just like that, okay? Because more color is going to go on top of that. Real, it's really simple, okay? Just like that. So there's our, our mountain peaks back there. I'm kind of going slow because I want this to dry, but... Uh, I guess I could put in my land down here. So I'm going to I'm going to have some land down here at the bottom. 
just like this. Just throw in some of the green, the dark green. And I'm going to throw some trees off that land. This green here is the same as this, but I put black in it to darken it up, okay? For to make dark trees. Now over here I want to have maybe a hill coming out here into the water. So let's just put some land in there with that dark green. Just like that. Very simple, okay? And then now let's kind of design some land down here that we could put some bushes on this uh, land over here. So basically what we did, we made a, we made a lake right there and uh, we can throw in some of this green color under our mountain now, just like this to make some land back underneath the mountain. It's the same green. Then I'm gonna throw some uh, trees on top of that land, okay? So there's, there's our underpaint. It's pretty much done, okay? Now I'm gonna do some uh, clouds since it's a smaller painting I'm going to go down to a smaller uh, filbert brush like a number uh, I think this is a number six but there I got I got one here that's a number eight now it's not soft enough I gotta clean that brush. Let's do some clouds. I'll show you how to do some easy clouds, okay? By using a titanium white. And what I'm gonna do is uh, just use my brush and kind of paint in some clouds here, okay? Real easy. Uh, Just paint in the color like this. I'm not going to make them poofy looking, okay? Uh, just get some white color up into the sky, just like this. Real easy, okay? Then I'm going to put some shadows underneath the clouds. Isn't that an easy way to make clouds? I mean, it's real easy. You just uh, brush the color up there, okay? I'm trying to show you the, the how easy this is, and I'm trying to make it look real, like, uh, like an oil painting as well. You know, I want it to look real. I'm going to take a little bit of this blue and put a little gray in it. Paint's gray. And at the bottom of my clouds... I'm going to put a little bit of gray. Just wipe it in there. It'll, it'll end up uh, looking like shadows at the bottom of the clouds, okay? Just like that. That's enough. Just blend it into the white. Doesn't that look cool? Let me see how it's looking in the frame. Easy sky. Very easy sky. Now I'm going to put some uh, snow on the mountains with the same br brush, uh, titanium white. And uh, come up to the right side of your peak and just pull with your brush down like that. Okay. Let's do each peak first. Just a little bit of snow on the top of each peak. Just pull it down. And you'll be able to see that the mountain's starting to take shape now, right? Can you see the, the dimension in there now? So the light is coming 
hit wherever you see this white. Now you can shape your mountain a little more by adding more white to the bottom of the mountain here. You can make your mountain turn, turn this way. Just keep adding a little more white at the bottom. Just like that, just brush it in. This is the easiest way to do mountains here. There's a, there's a lot of different techniques, but this seems to be the uh, easiest way to do it, okay? Doesn't that look cool? Now I wanna put some color on the other side, so I'm gonna mix some blue and uh, Payne's gray together. It's the blue I used in the sky, a light blue. Now come up to the next to your white and pull a little bit of that uh, color to the left, okay? It's a bluish gray, okay? This is the side of the mountain that the, uh, the sun's not quite hitting over here, okay? Very easy. There we go, there's our mountain. Looks pretty good. Now I wanna put some mist down here, so all you gotta do is rinse your brush. Rinse your brush off and dry it off a little. Grab a little titanium white now and just kinda of paint it in here at the bottom of the mountain, just like that. Just paint it in. It's gonna end up looking like some mist back there, okay? <clears throat> Isn't that easy so far? I think I think anybody can do this, so <laughs> I'm trying to make it as easy as possible, okay? Um, now I'm gonna put some trees in the back here. For that I'm gonna use a, it's called the fan brush, okay? And I'm going to use this dark green. I'm going to use that dark green and then get a little bit of white and mix the white into it. See how it's turning a lighter, like a grayish green? So those trees aren't so dark. We don't want the trees, I don't want the trees to be very dark because they're way back in the distance, okay? And I'm just going to fill up my fan brush. And let's, uh, I'm going to put a row of trees uh, back here under the mountain. I'm just going to stamp in some treetops back here, all the way across. Just like that. Those are going to indicate those are going to be indications of trees see how easy that was <coughs> very easy now we're gonna I'm gonna put a reflection in the water now okay so with that the same brush what we're gonna do we're gonna make this uh, simple uh, I'm actually gonna have the land start up here a little just with your brush Pull down some color into the water, just straight down. You might have to get your brush a little wet. And then just pull this color down into the water, straight down. 
uh, acrylic paint is a little different than oil, so a lot different actually. But, so we, I pulled the color down in there. Now rinse your brush off and kind of dab it on a paper towel and take your brush now and go across what's in the water. Just go across it with your brush. Just like that. That's going to end up being a reflection. Now rinse your brush off again. The, uh, the fan brush. I'm going to fill it up with titanium white now. Take your brush at the bottom of your trees now. And pull the white to the right. And then to the left. Over here. Create a water line way, way back there. See how easy that is? Now we got a reflection here. Now take a little bit more white and put a few more lines in the water here, like this, okay? Just a few. You can put more up in the front like that. But just a few back there. You don't want to kill your reflection all right we're, we're about done so because all I'm going to do is put a tree here and some trees over here and I'm going to use this fan brush to make the trees now okay I'm going to use this dark green now to make some trees just fill your brush up and I'm going to start over on this side here going to uh, make a tree trunk just like that and use the corner use the corner of the brush now and press in and then just get bigger as you come down real simple just let the brush do the work okay however that tree looks that looks good to me you want you don't want it to look perfect you know, nature doesn't always look straight up and down. But just let the brush make the leaves. You can make them skinny or fat. But isn't that a cool way to make uh, evergreen trees? You see how it's darker than the, the color in the back? You want, as we move forward, everything's going to get darker now, okay? I just thought I'd do a simple painting for uh, just to show beginners how simple this can be okay I haven't done anything really hard yet so I think anybody can do this all right now I'm gonna put a big tree over here with the same technique okay I'm gonna pull my trunk down <clears throat> fill up my brush same way I'm gonna come in hopefully I don't get in the way but I'm gonna put on my branches with the corner of the brush and lightly press in get some more paint see how the background is a lot lighter than the green I'm using here that way it shows up, okay? Just press the brush in and go get lower each time, okay? And we want to get wider at the bottom. Just like that. When you get done, take a look at it. Stand back and look at it and you can you can fill in I fill in about the middle a little bit with a little more color and you can make these branches stick out a little more here on the sides. I think that's a cool looking tree. I'm going to leave it. If you're brave enough you can put one right behind it. Fill in the side of this uh, 
canvas here same way just use the corner of the brush come down that trunk and press in and just come down to about there because it, it's behind it let's put some bushes down here with this fan brush now we'll put some bushes in front of this evergreen tree by just stamping some color down here just like that just press it into the the canvas and there we got some uh, instant bushes it's really easy I think you can do this I'm gonna use the fan brush to put some bushes out here on this peninsula just really small bushes here out on this peninsula here maybe pull the bottom back a little create some shadow there I think that's all I'm gonna do I I want this to be easy for you I'm gonna show you how to do the water over here now uh, I'm not going to make this a difficult one. We got to put a little bit of uh, reflection here now in uh, the water. Just a little bit of reflection here. Just pull the color down, then rinse your brush off. Rinse your brush off and then dry it with a paper towel. And then take your brush and go across it just in the water just go across it now rinse your brush off again and we're gonna put some uh, titanium white on our fan brush and at the bottom of your ground pull some white and over here just keep pulling to the right some titanium white that's gonna be our water crashing in on the side of the shore there okay very easy I guess uh, since this is alive I'm gonna go ahead and put some bushes down here for you I'm gonna use the uh, it's a half inch brush they call it, I found out what this is this is a stencil brush like if you do a lot of stencil work but it works good for bushes so I'm gonna use it to make some bushes right here on the edge of the water okay I'm gonna make them bigger here and it gets smaller as it goes back okay just like that very good now since our, our lights coming from the right well, on a fan brush put a little bit of that dark color and pull a little bit of dark color into the grass here it'll create a, a shadow there okay let's lighten up this grass here uh, by taking a brush a filbert brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, this raw sienna and yellow on it and I'm gonna change the color of this ground in here by just glazing this with the uh, raw sienna okay just gonna glaze over the top of the ground and we're gonna change that color look at that doesn't that look cool just like that we added some color to it let's do it down here as well Let's put some of that raw sienna down in here. Just to add some color to the painting. This 
looking pretty good. I really like it. Let me see where I'm at on time. 25 minutes. That's not bad. I think anybody can do this type of painting. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. And I got a, I got a lot of good ideas coming up. Uh, I try and keep the beginner in mind when I paint. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for my liner brush because I wanted to put some birds up there, but I don't see it. So, we'll have to skip the birds for now. But I'm going to go ahead and highlight some of these bushes for you uh, by using a fan brush, okay? I'm going to use that yellow oak or uh, raw sienna on a fan brush. And I'm just going to come in here and uh, kind of put it, it's kind of hard to see where the bushes are, but just kind of press in some color down here with the fan brush, just like that, just to change the color of the bushes up a bit. That way everything's just not green, okay? I'll go back to that uh, stencil brush and I'm just going to hit these bushes at the top and change the color as well. Leave the bottom dark. Just like that. Now, now we got some different color, some contrast between the bushes and the uh, evergreen tree. I'm going to take a little bit of my bright green now on a fan brush, this bright, bright green, and I'm just going to hit the top of these uh, bushes out here, okay, maybe put some bushes underneath uh, those evergreen trees to create some contrast in there. Just a little. That's all you need. I wish I had my uh, liner brush. I'd put the birds up there and then the painting be done. There you go, guys. Very simple painting. I know you can do it. It's more realistic. Uh, I'm trying to make acrylic paint look like oil paint. and it, It's very simple, okay? then I think you can do it. That's an easy layout. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.